In one of the questions in eLearn, we're asked to determine the cross-section area of a trapezoid, a trapezoidal shape, given that the top length is 8.8 .8 meters, so the top of this trapezoid is 8.8 .8 meters, the, um, the height is 9 meters, and the left side slope is 0 0.5 to 1, and the right side slope is, uh, is 1.6 to 1. So the question is, how do we find the area of this trapezoid? Well, the only formula that I know for the area of a trapezoid is that the area is equal to the length of the across the top of the trapezoid plus the length across the opposite parallel side of the trapezoid divided by 2. So we're calculating the average length of the top and the bottom. A plus B, the top and the bottom, divided by 2, multiplied by the height. So in this case, we're doing pretty good because we happen to know that the top is 8.8 .8 meters, so we've got 8.8 .8 meters, plus we need to know the length of the bottom, which we do not know, and of course we have to divide that by 2, and then multiply that by 9 meters, because the height is 9 meters. So all we need to do is to find out what the bottom is. So what is B equal to? What is the length of the across the bottom? Well, the way we're going to attack that is we're going to drop the perpendiculars. So let's drop the perpendiculars from the top down to the bottom. And if we drop the perpendiculars down, then we'll end up having a rectangle. And that rectangle is going to be 8.8 .8 by, um, by 9, 8.8 .8 by 9. So we're going to have 8.8 .8 meters across the bottom for that portion of the rectangle. What we need to do is to find the two, um, we have two triangles, one on each side, the left side and the right side. So what we need to do is to find the lengths of the bottoms of each of the triangles. So we'll call the right side triangle X1 for across the bottom, and we'll call the left side triangle X2 across the bottom. So let's mark that X2. Now let's work on the right-hand side of the um, of the uh, trapezoid. We've got a, a right triangle here, and it is a right triangle. The bot, the x1, I don't know what that length is. I'll call it x1. I do know that the height is 9 meters, and I happen to know that the slope of the, um, of the uh, hypotenuse is a slope of um, uh, 1.6 to 1. Now, I also know something else about the slope, and the slope is also defined as the rise over the run. And the rise over the run is the ratio of the change in vertical height to the run of x1. So rise to run. So all we know is that the 1.6 slope is equal to the rise of 9 meters to the run of x1. And now we have a relationship that we can use to figure out what the distance is across the bottom of that triangle. So now I can multiply both sides by x1 and divide both sides by 1.6. So I end up with x1 is equal to 9 divided by 1.6. And 9 divided by 1.6 works out to be a value of 5.5. To five meters. And so that is the distance across the bottom of the right hand side of my trapezoid, that little triangular section. So 5.625. Now I can apply the same principle on the left hand side of the triangle. So if I move over to the left hand side triangle, I'll end up with a uh, right triangle again that has a height of nine, nine uh, meters. And the uh, base, I don't know what the base is, x2, but I do know that the um, ratio of the slope on the, um, on the left-hand side is equal to 0 0.5. And so what that means is that the slope of 0 0.5 will be equal to the ratio of the rise to the run. And the rise is the 9-meter distance, and the run is the x2 distance. And so 0 0.5 is going to equal to the ratio of 9 to uh, x2. Therefore, x2 then is going to be equal to 9 divided by 0 0.5, and x2 is equal to 18 meters. And so now you have the x2 distance is 18 meters, and now you know that b is equal to the 18 meters, working away from our way across the, from left to right, starting with 18 meters, plus the 8.8 .8 meters across that middle section there, which is that rectangular portion, plus the 5.625 meters that is on the um, right side of the uh, trapezoid. And now we can plug in that B value into our formula for the area of the trapezoid and, and calculate the area and we're done.